Welcome to Solve It with Sir Jude. Today we are going to discuss about a shortcut on how are we going to easily get the exact value of trigonometric ratios of special angles 30, 45, and 60 degree angles. So, paano ba natin makakabisado yung table na ito? Okay, so if you can see this table consists of sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent as well as the degrees or the angles 30, 45, and 60 degrees. So if you can see, masyadong maraming kailangan kapisabitin. So there is a trick that we can use in order for us to get the exact value of special angles in trigonometric ratios. So we will be using this hand trick. So ang kailangan lang natin yung kamay natin. It is either left or right. Pwede mong gamitin. So to start, the first step is to place your hand or palm facing you. You may use your left or right hand in doing this one. So nakaganito. And then we remember this expression. We have square root of x over 2. Wherein x stands for the number of fingers either above or below the given angle. So mamaya malalaman natin kung bakit ba above or below. So next, the order of the angle. So starting from the top, we have 0 degrees followed by 30 degrees, 45 degrees for the middle finger, and then for this finger, we have 60 degrees, and lastly, we have the 90 degree finger. So that will be the arrangement of the special angles. So again, we'll start lagi sa top. So pataas, 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. And then, kung ano man yung number of fingers above, so that will be considered as for sign. Kapag naman yung mga fingers below, so that will be for cosine. So let us start. Find the exact value of sine 30 degrees. So again, this will be our hand. Then we need to fold the finger that corresponds to the given angle. So this is our 30 degree finger to so this one. So let us fold. Okay, after folding, we need to consider the trigonometric ratio. So that will be sine. So again, sine, that will be the number of fingers above this given angle 30 degrees. And if you can see, we only have one finger above 30 degrees. So therefore, itong one na to, this one, will go inside the radical symbol. Okay? So we have square root of 1 over 2. And if we are going to simplify, square root of 1 is 1. So therefore, sine 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. You may check the calculator kung 0.5 ang lalabas dyan. But let us go back to our special angle trigonometric ratio table and let us see kung sine 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. Okay, so if you can see, it is really equal to 1 half. Okay, so next, how about if we are asked to find the exact value of cosine 60 degrees? So again, we only need to consider the 60 degree angle. So this is the finger. Then, we need to fold it. There. Next. Next, the trigonometric ratio we use is cosine. So therefore, we need to look at the fingers below 60 degree angle. So ilan ba ang nakatayong finger dyan? So we only have one finger below. So therefore, this one finger below or this one will uh, go inside the radical symbol. Okay? And we have square root of 1 is 1. So therefore, cosine 60 degrees will just be equal to 1 half. So tingnan natin ulit sa trigonometric ratio of special angles table kung ang cosine 60 degrees is 1 half. But you can see, it is really 1 half. If you can observe, kahit wala na itong table na ito ng special angles, we can already get the exact value of trigonometric ratios of special angles 30, 45, and 60 degrees. It's your turn. How about if you are asked to find the exact value of sine 60 degrees? So again, same process. Fold the finger that corresponds to the given angle. So we are asked to find 60 degrees. So we fold natin yan. And then, since we are speaking about sine, we need to count the number of fingers above the 60 degree angle. So if you can see, we have 1, 2, 3. So 3 fingers above. So this 3 will go inside the radical symbol. So 3 is not a perfect square. So therefore, this expression will remain as is. Square root of 3 over 2. Thus, we can say that sine 60 degrees is just equal to square root of 3 over 2. 
So again, let us check the given table. So sine 60 degrees, so that will just be equal to square root of 3 over 2. So next, go naman. How about if you are asked to find the exact value of cosine 45? Okay, so tingnan natin. Fold the finger that corresponds to the given angle. So this is 45. Yan, para tayong Spider-Man. And then, we need to count the number of fingers below 45 degree angle since we are speaking about trigonometric ratio cosine. So ilan ba yan? So we have two fingers below. So this two will go inside the radical symbol. Thus, we have square root of 2 over 2. 2 is not a perfect square, so therefore the answer or cosine 45 degrees is just equal to square root of 2 over 2. So we can also find the exact values of trigonometric ratios for 0 degree and 90 degree angles. So bonus to. Okay? So let us find the exact value of cosine 90 degrees. So 90 degrees, this is our finger, 0 to 90. We need to fold this finger. Okay? So yan, napold na natin. Next, we need to consider the trigonometric ratio u, so that will be cosine. Cosine is the number of fingers below the given angle, 90 degrees. So meron bang natira? Below? So wala. So no fingers below, so that will be 0. So we all know that square root of 0 is 0. 0 over 2 is 0. So therefore, cosine 90 degrees is equal to 0. How about if you are asked to find the exact value of cosine 0 degrees? So again, we need to fold the finger that corresponds to the given angle. So this is 0. Ito pin natin yan. So next, our given trigonometric ratio is cosine. So we need to take a look at the fingers below the 0 degree angle. So, ilang fingers? We have four fingers below. So, this four will go inside the radical symbol. So, we have square root of four over two. The square root of four is two. Two divided by two is one. Hence, we can say that cosine zero degrees is equal to one. So, you can check the calculator if it is really one. So, next. How about for tangent? If you can see sine, cosine lang yung ating nakuha before. Paano kapag ka-tangent? So, kapag ka-tangent, we will be using a different expression. Okay, so this will, this will be the expression. We have square root of the fingers above over the square root of the fingers below. Okay? So, how about if we are asked to find the exact value of tangent 60 degrees? So, same process. Fold the finger that corresponds to the given tangent. So, this is our... 60 degree finger, so ipod yan. Okay? So next, we have 3 fingers above. So 1, 2, 3. So ito yung nasa numerator. So inside the radical symbol. So we have square root of 3. Then, the number of fingers down. So we will only be having 1. So we have square root of 1. And if we are going to simplify, 3 is not a perfect square. So therefore, it will remain as is. While square root of 1 has a, a square root of 1. Okay? So therefore, that will just be square root of 3. Hence, we can say that tangent 60 degrees is equal to square root of 3. So let us go back to our table. Check natin kung square root of 3 nga ba. So tangent 60 degrees is just equal to square root of 3. So next, kung pa tayo ng example. Yan, tangent 45 degrees. So again, we need to fold the finger that corresponds to the given angle, so 45. So, similar finger, ating itago yan, or ipold. So, we have the number of fingers up over the number of fingers down, getting their square roots. So, we have two fingers above. So, that would just be square root of 2. Then, uh, two fingers below. So, yun naman yung nasa denominator. So, if you can see, square root of 2 over square root of 2, so identical uh, expression, so it will just be equal to 1. Hence, we can say that tangent 45 degrees is equal to 1. Okay, so next, how about if you are asked to find tangent 30 degrees? So we will be using oh, this expression for them. So let us fold our 30 degree finger. Okay, then count the number of fingers above 30 degrees. So that will be one finger. So yun yung nasa numerator. We have square root of 1. 
over the number of fingers below. So we have 3, so that will just be over square root of 3. We all know that the square root of 1 is 1. And 3 is not a perfect square, so therefore we have 1 over square root of 3. This time, we need to rationalize. Okay? Once na nakuha natin itong expression na to, we need to multiply both numerator and denominator by square root of 3. And simplify that we have square root of 3 over 3. Hence, we have tangent 30 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 3. So, how about for secant, cosecant, cotangent, or the reciprocals of sine, cosine, and tangent ratios? So, ang gagawin lang natin, uh, ilangan alam muna natin yung reciprocals nila. Like for example, this one. Find the exact value of secant 60 degrees. We note that secant is just the reciprocal of cosine. So therefore, get first cosine 60 degrees. Pag nakuha na natin yung value ni cosine 60 degrees, then we get the reciprocal and that will be our value for secant 60 degrees. So fold the given angle. So we have 60 degrees. So there. So kailangan natin si cosine 60 degrees. Okay, so we need to count the number of fingers below. So we have 1. So, si 1 ngayon ang mapupunta sa loob ng radical symbol. And we all know that the square root of 1 is 1. That's why we have cosine 60 degrees which is equal to 1 half. Getting its reciprocal for us to have secant 60 degrees. So, that will just be equal to 2. So, we have secant 60 degrees is equal to 2. So, next, how about for cotangent 30 degrees? So, again, we should take note that cotangent is just the reciprocal of tangent. So, get first tangent 30 degrees. So, we will be using this expression kasi tangent ang kinukuha natin. So, fold the 30 degree finger. Then, count the number of fingers above. So, we have one finger above. So, that will be for the numerator, square root of 1. Then, the number of fingers below. So, we have 3. So, that will be for the denominator, square root of 3. If you are going to simplify this one, we have 1 over square root of 3. No need to rationalize. Okay? If flip na agad natin sila or get the reciprocal. So that will just be square root of 3 over 1 or simply square root of 3. Therefore, cotangent 30 degrees is just equal to square root of 3. Let us have some examples on how are we going to use those special values. So we use them when we are evaluating trigonometric expressions. Like for example, cosine 60 degrees plus sine 30 degrees. So nilagay ko itong note na to. So for square root of x over 2, that is for sine and cosine. For tangent, we have square root of the fingers above over the square root of fingers below. So cosine 60 degrees, so 0, 30, 45, 60. So equal yan. So cosine again, so that will just be the number of fingers below. So ilan? So we have 1. Square root of 1 over 2 is simply 1 half. Okay? So next, sine 30 degrees. So 0, 30, equal yan. Sine nasa taas. Ilan ang fingers? We have 1. Square root of 1 over 2 is simply 1 half. Okay? So 1 half plus 1 half. So that will just be equivalent to 1. Okay? So next, how about another example? 2 times sine 45 degrees plus cosine 30 degrees. So we now have 2. Ano yung value ni sine 45 degrees? So 0, 30, 45. We fold. So sine, that would just be the fingers above the given uh, angle. So we have 2 fingers. So we have square root of 2 over 2. 2 is not a perfect square, remember? So therefore, that would be the expression square root of 2 over 2 plus how about cosine 30 0 30 so default so we have three fingers below since cosine yan so therefore we have square root of 3 over 2 we can cancel 2 here the whole number and the denominator hence we have square root of 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 actually pwede na tong, uh, final answer but we can actually Combine the two numbers by getting the LCD. So the LCD is 2. So 2 divided by the denominator 1. So meron tong imaginary denominator na 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 times square root of 2 is 2 square root of 2. Next, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times square root of 3 is square root of 3. Hence, we have 2 square root of 2 plus square root of 3 all over 2. So next, 
How about if we are going to evaluate tangent 30 degrees plus cosecant 30 degrees? So, tangent 30 degrees, alamin muna natin yung special value niya. So, tangent 30, so 0, 30. So, square root of the number of fingers above over the square root of the number of fingers below. So, we now have square root of 1 over square root of 3. And we all know that the square root of 1 is 1. Hence, we have 1 over square root of 3. We need to rationalize this one by multiplying both numerator and denominator by square root of 3. So, simplifying, we have the final answer is square root of 3 over 3. So, tapos na tayo kay tangent 30 degrees. Punta naman tayo kay cosecant 30 degrees. So, we should take note that cosecant is just the reciprocal of sine. So, therefore, kuhain muna natin si sine 30, 0, 30. So, sine, we have the number of finger above. So, that will be square root of 1 is 1. So, we have 1 half. Then, getting its reciprocal to get the value of cosecant 30 degrees, so that will just be equal to 2. So, the reciprocal of 1 half is 2. Okay? So, nakuha na natin yung value ni tangent 30 at cosecant 30 degrees. So, let us now add them or perform the indicated operation. Okay? Pwede na ito, pero let us simplify this further by getting the LCD. So, the LCD is 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times square root of 3 is square root of 3. Then, this 2 has a denominator of 1. So, 3 divided by 1 is 3. 3 times 2, that will be 6. So, we have square root of 3 plus 6 all over 3. Pero, let us um, arrange this one, yung whole number muna ang unahin natin. So, we have 6 plus square root of 3 all over 3. So, this will be the exact value. So, I hope that you've learned the hand trick or the shortcut or the technique in getting the exact values of trigonometric ratios of special angles 30, 45, 60 degrees. Kung natuto ka for today, do not forget to like this video, share this video para makatulong tayo sa iba. And if you are new to our channel, please subscribe, then hit the notification bell for more video lesson. So, this is Sir Jude. Good day!